put the kit on and I mean not only that but when you've got your name on the back as well suddenly those two worlds of like you being a player and Arsenal as a club come together and it's like you you feel a belonging. I think my first time seeing you was at an Arsenal trial. Yeah. And I was really intimidated by you because you... <laughs> Me? You, no, no you, no, you were already an Arsenal player mm. and I was coming in from Millwall and the, like the Arsenal girls, are, they were intimidating because they're all so good, all in the kit and to me like as a youngster I was like oh the kit is so sick like, yeah. I want to be in that kit. Did you have like a little headband? I did I had a thick sweatband. Yeah I know I remember that. Your uncle was a big uh, Arsenal supporter wasn't he? Yeah he was who got me into, Arsenal. Got into Arsenal. He got me tickets so I got to go to Highbury. Oh I'm so jealous. I, it was amazing such an amazing experience and that was me I was hooked then I was an Arsenal fan from then onwards. What about you? Your auntie right? My auntie my nice. auntie. Our uncles and aunties are yeah, doing this Yeah they are. Uh, she was an Arsenal fan which meant I was an Arsenal fan. She sung the Arsenal chants to me as lullabies. I think we owe a big shout out to the likes of Rachel Yankee, Kelly Smith, um, Faye White, Alex, Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Hundred percent. They're the players who paved the way for us, and I don't think we would be here without them. I would hang around at the end of games and everything, and it's weird now that the same thing happens. Roles reverse. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we're so open to taking photos, to chatting with people. And definitely in the women's game as well, I feel like yeah. the fans aren't ushered out of the stadium straight away. They right. stay, they stay all around Meadow Park and mm -hmm. you make your rounds and you're able to chat to everyone, which is so good. And obviously they're so good to us, cheering us on all through the 90 minutes. So it's our way of being able to give back. And your first goal the other day yeah. for the women, that's yeah. exciting. No, that was obviously such an amazing feeling. and. It was, do you know what I love so much about it was just everyone else's reaction. Yeah, and like you, for example, sprinting. And that was probably the most you sprinted that game. <laughs> yeah, it probably was. To get down and give me this big hug from behind. And I remember thinking, oh yeah. That's what meant so much about it was mm -hmm. just everyone knew how happy I was about it. I think the fans have been so good. I wish they were there, but yeah. Um, I mean, on social media, it's so nice that we get a few messages and yeah. a few comments, which is really cool. Arsenal Women India added me on Twitter the other day. I, well, and I, I, there's an Arjun, oh, Arsenal Women oh, Argentina we are as well. No, we are worldwide. Also, just in general, our fan base is huge on social media platforms as well, and it you is. just you just feel that. And we have that global fan base, but there's also those hardcore Arsenal fans that are always in the stadium that obviously we've missed this year, yeah. but we can't wait to have that. It's exciting, and it's what we have to look forward to is actually being able to interact with the fans all over yes. again. Yeah, I'm excited now, for that. Now that we're back, back home.